Hey everyone, my name is Mark Georgery and today we're going to learn how to set up blueprints. It's a fairly easy process, uh, doesn't take a lot of time. Um, Alright, so let's get started. So, pull up Photoshop or any other editing software you're comfortable with. Okay, and grab the crop tool and just crop around the first view over here. So I'm going to get into the front view. Okay, let's just zoom in. Okay. Now, try to match up that box around the view as close as you can to its edges. So, uh, let's say here, here, and there we go. Cool. Okay, hit enter. Check. Yes, close. Good. Now, save. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was in the right one. Now, this is my front view, so I'm going to call this front. And let's go PNG, save, yeah. Now, instead of just go, uh, reloading the file, just undo. There we go, we get the full image again. Now, same for the back view. As close as you can. Here, there, and here. Okay, let's see. Looks good. Save. All right, let's call this back. Yes, that's fine. Okay, now undo. Okay, let's go again for the side view. Okay. Here we go. Right here. And. Oh. Here. Yeah, that's good. Let's see it as a whole. Da, 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 da. Yep, that's good. Okay, I'm going to call this side. Yes, and okay. Undo. Now, one last time. There we go. Remember, in your front and back views, oops, sorry, what did I do? Let's do this again, there we go. In your front and back views, um, you set the box to surround uh, everything as far as the side mirrors. So in your top view, you have to go as far as the side mirrors as well. You can't go only as far as the body. So let's uh, drag this here. Okay, scroll up and here and drag it backwards to here. Right, let's check. Okay, looks good. Save. <coughs> Top. Okay. Yep. All right, now get into max. Okay, so um, I'm just going to change how we view these ports okay so shaded edged shaded and edged and you can just hit f4 for edged okay all right i'm just going to turn off the grid for all of them just hit g to turn off the grid okay so let's create a plane there we go uh, yeah that's fine one one okay now, doesn't matter what size it is, I'm going to set that right now. So, get into the folder where you have uh, the blueprint saved. Okay, so here's my top view. Now, you want to read these dimensions down here. So, we have 1531 and 723. Okay, so 1531 and 723. There we go. Awesome. Now just hit Z to center everything. Okay. Uh, center your view, I mean. Now, you're going to get into the rotate tool. I just hit the quick shortcut E. And you're going to hold, uh, sorry, set the angle snap toggle first. You're going to hold down Shift and rotate it until it's vertical in the front and top view. So by 90 degrees, basically. Okay, copy, yes. 
Now, same thing. Side view, dimensions. 15, 43, and 487. Okay, 15, 43, 487. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, from your front view, you're going to hold shift and rotate again by 90 degrees. Like so. Now, you're just going to move it back. doesn't matter how far. Now, same thing. 722 and 484. 722, 484. Now, you're going to hold shift and move it forward. Okay. Get the rotate tool. And without holding shift, just rotate it 180 degrees. There we go. Oh, and for the back as well, 722 and 486. Spot on. Okay, now you're gonna select your back and front view and right click, object properties, and back face call. Check that. Now, select your top view and from your, uh, your top plane and from your left view, move it down to the bottom of the left plane, or the side plane, sorry. Um, from your top view, do just the opposite of that. To the far edge, there we go. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but we want to give as much space uh, as possible to create the car in between this open and uh, rectangle, cuboid. Okay, here we go. So your car is going to be created in here. Okay. Um, all right. Let's get into the material editor. So, first material here. Hit this button next to the diffuse slot and bitmap. Top view. Oh, sorry, wrong blueprint. My bad, sorry. Okay. Uh, where are you? There you are. Top view. Okay and apply it using this button assign material to selection and then click show shaded material in viewport now as you can see it doesn't look all that great <laughs> so let's adjust it so uh, we'll set this one uh, this angle right here to 270 there we go this is how it should be pointing now select your side plane second material Again, diffuse, bitmap, and again, that's the wrong folder, side. Now, set this one to 180, and this one to 90. Now, assign the material, and show map in viewport. There you go. Now, you can, of course, mess with these angles, see what each one gives you, and how it affects uh, the direction in which it rotates. Okay, now, from your front view, just a quick note here before I continue. This one at the very back here is your front view because your camera is looking straight ahead. This is why we applied the back face call so we can see through the back view, which is this guy over here, and see across straight to the front view because the front view camera is over here. And your back view does the, does the opposite. So, third material. Uh -huh. Diffuse, bitmap, you know the drill. Uh, front view. Okay, now you're just gonna change this. You know what? I'm gonna keep it zero for now and apply it just to show you what it looks like right now. Okay, 90. There you go. Okay, and one last time. Uh, apply, show the map in viewport, diffuse, bitmap, and back view. Okay, and 90. There you go. Cool. Uh, let's close this. Okay, so now you have your images set up. All right, now let's just test them out. Make sure they all work well. So, let's create a plane. Any plane, doesn't matter. Forget about the size or anything. It's just for testing. So, I'm going to grab one of the vertices here and just set it to any, any point you like. So, I'm going to set it to this point right here. Something set set it to a point you can see through at least another view from side or front. Okay, so 
So there's obviously no point me putting that point over that vertex over here because it's quite pointless really. I can't I can't make sure it fits on the other uh, viewports. So I'm gonna set that one there, this one here, and I'm gonna set this one there. Okay, that should be a good reference. Now from the front view, I know that this point should be over here. Okay, close enough. This one should be over here. Okay, a bit far. I can't see as far back from here from the front view, so I get into the side view. Uh, this one should be here. This one should be there. That's okay. What if, if you adjust it here in the side view, it moves backwards there. Okay, so the side view, let's check this one. Is up here, yep, that's fine. This one's at the correct point. Okay. So if you move them here at the front view, they're gonna obviously move there on the top view. Okay, okay, that's close enough. Remember blueprints are there only for reference. If you follow you can't follow them uh, exactly, keep a few reference images uh, beside you just to have looks at them. Blueprints are there just, just as a guide. Okay, so they don't need to be perfectly exact. Okay, now, now let's grab the move tool and move that plane to the back. And let's test out the back view. Okay, of course you can start shifting the front view a bit to the left and a bit to the right just to get your points to match up well. But if, if it's just there for a guide, then that should be alright. Okay, so choose a couple of points. Here we go. Is this one, that one? Um, I'm going to choose this one here and this second line over here. Now, from my back view, I know that this point should line up over here according to that view. So, okay, it does. This one should line up here. Yes, that's good. Now let's test out the side view. That point over here should line up over here. Uh, this point should line up right there. Okay, good. Okay, and just delete that plane we need. Okay, so Z, 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 and Z. Now, one last thing select all your blueprints object properties freeze and show frozen in gray uncheck that now you can't click your blueprints and you can start modeling your car i hope uh this tutorial was beneficial to you uh if you have any questions just post them in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you out uh thanks for watching